Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. Today we have another lesson in Mega Goal 6. Before we start the new lesson, let's take a quick recap for the previous lesson. <clears throat> in the previous lesson, we had reading on page 60. In the reading lesson, we have learned some techniques that help us understand and reflect upon what we read and understand the essay deeper and better. We've followed many ways to understand what we read and to be able to get the main idea of the essay. For example, we started with talking or we started with a question. We said that it's good to start with questions before reading any essay or any book that you want to read. Why? Because these questions or these statements help you to change your perspective toward what you are going to read or help you think uh, in a different way or think uh, deeper or let's say activate your prior knowledge before you start reading the essay. So in the previous lesson we started with what do you think, why do you think people gossip? We've had some suggested answers and you were asked to find some answers. Uh, we asked you about your opinion toward this uh, question. After that, we read the essay together and we've learned something. We focused on one technique that is going to be practiced also in our lesson today. This technique is focusing and getting the main idea of the essay and the main idea of every paragraph. We've said that it's better once you read a paragraph to ask yourself some questions. What is the author trying to say? Why is the author saying this? And you can ask yourself more questions about this. Why we ask ourselves questions about each paragraph? Because these questions help us understand what we read. After we do this with every paragraph, we will have a main idea for each paragraph. And in each paragraph, there are some examples that aim to support these ideas or these opinions. And at the end of the essay, once you read the whole essay, you will have a main idea, an idea that the whole essay revolve around. Okay, so we have a big picture, a main idea, and we have small ideas. Today, in the writing lesson, we will learn how to paraphrase and to write about the main idea. But let's walk you, I will walk you through the slides of the previous lesson. We've read the whole essay together. Then after that, in the post reading, we've checked our comprehension of what we have read by doing this exercise together, true or false. But this time, we didn't only put true and false, we also rewrote each false statement by writing the correct statement and the answers for uh, for this exercise as shown here in this uh, page. For example, number two was false. Disappointment and anger are common causes of gossip. While the correct answer is need for attention, acceptance, insecurity, feel superior, powerful, important are the common causes for gossip. Number three, false also. Once we have a false answer, we go back to the essay to find the correct answer. In this, in the, uh, in this one, gossiping is usually an effective way of, get, of gaining acceptance into a group. When we went back to the essay, we find that uh, or we find it false because the correct answer is that gossipers are only accepted for the short period of time it takes to spread the gossip. So it's not a permanent state. It's only a temporary state. Number four, 
Gossip usually reduces the status of the person being gossiped about. And the last one is also false. The number one reason most young people gossip is the need to feel superior. And the correct answer is most young people gossip because they are bored. Today on page 62, we have a writing lesson. Today we will try to put into practice what we have learned in the previous lesson. But before we start reading why gossip is boring, we will try to refresh our minds by having some questions about gossiping and so on. Number one, read the title. What is the title? Title is why gossip is boring. Do you think gossip is boring? Why or why not? Number two, what, what do you talk about when you are with your friends? Okay, these are two questions that you can think about before you start reading the essay. In number three, read the text and find out. We will have these or we will go back to these three questions after we read the essay together. But now let's read them together. Number one, what is the writer's viewpoint and why? So here we are asking about the main idea behind the essay. Number two, how does she react when someone starts gossiping? Number three, is she in favor or against minding one's own business? So we are going to focus on three things. The first one is the main idea or the viewpoint of the author or the writer. This is the first one. Number two, the author's reaction toward the gossiping. How does she react when someone starts gossiping? Number three, is she in favor of gossiping or against? Okay, so we will listen to the essay right now and I want you to try to listen carefully and get the answers of each one of these three questions and also try to understand the whole idea or the main idea of the essay. Now we'll go ahead to this part. I want you to pick up your pens, underline the new words, and try to find the answers of the previous questions. Page 62, 10, writing. Why gossip is boring. I hate gossip. I find it boring and destructive, yet so much in the media, in publications, and on the web is based on gossip. A lot of people have become so heavily conditioned to it that they fail to recognize it as gossip. They regard it as news, information for public consumption. I met an older friend that I had not seen for some time. She proceeded to tell me all the news about people I knew and people that I had never heard of. None of it was harmful on its own, but it was infinitely boring and awkward. I honestly felt I was wasting my time and hers for no obvious reason. I also became very reluctant to share any of my news because I felt that it would very likely become public property. At some point, she realized that I was not engaged in the conversation and attributed my attitude to my obsession with work. So she started lecturing me on the negative effects of not having some normal time off. She then told me about someone else who carried on like me, someone I knew, and how sick she had gotten through overwork that she had been hospitalized for about four months. I started feeling physical. Now before we go, to the second part of this essay, let's stop with two words. We will try to explain these two words, then we will go on with the rest of the essay. The first word is destructive. She says, I hate gossip, I find it boring and destructive. Why we stopped with this word? Because it is one of the main words, because if you understand this word, you will be able or this word will help you to get the, the idea of, or will help you to get the author's 
point, viewpoint. The word destructive is the opposite of constructive. When we say about something that it destructive, that it means it dismantle things. When we say about gossip, it is destructive, that it means it dismantle the bonds between friends. It doesn't uh, support our fr uh, the bonds of our friendship. It do or it does the other way around. The second word is reluctant. I also become very reluctant to share any of my news. The word reluctant means I wasn't sure, I hesitated, okay? When you are not sure about doing something, when you want to do something but you decide not to, that means you are reluctant, okay? Now let's go to the second part. What right does anyone have to upset someone to such an extent that they become sick? Why is it that disaster draws so much attention? Why doesn't anyone tell stories or spread rumors about good days, successful endeavors, and happy people? Imminent calamity seems to sell a lot better than a happy development. The trend has established itself quite well. Most news items are about threats, criminal behavior, destruction, bankruptcy, war, etc. The more dismal the news is, the larger the audience, the higher the ratings, and the more successful the program is. Mind your own business is considered rude and aggressive. If you dare utter these words, you are summarily dismissed as selfish, insensitive, and ungrateful. Somehow, making others' business your own has become the norm rather than the exception. But I would still say it and take the risk in order to preserve some peace of mind and do my duty in a small way, reminding those who care to be reminded that we all have a right to privacy without being considered peculiar. Okay, another word on this page that is important um, to understand is the word the norm. Somehow making others, making others business our own has become the norm, rather, the norm rather than the exception. The norm means the normal thing. Okay, so when we say about something that it is the norm, that means it is what we expect other people to do. So she says that gossiping has become the norm rather than the exception. Now let's go back to these questions that we've talked about before we start reading the essay together. We have on number three, three questions. We will start with the first one. What is the writer's viewpoint and why? She talked about gossiping and she has a viewpoint toward gossiping. What is her viewpoint? The writer hates gossiping because she finds it because she finds it boring and destructive. She stated that in the first paragraph. Number two, how does she react when someone starts gossiping? She talked about the time when one of her friends started gossiping and talked about uh, her partner in the job that was hospitalized when she uh, wasn't having some time off and so on. So what was the reaction of the author when someone starts gossiping? She feels bored and uncomfortable. She also becomes very reluctant to share any news for fear of having them passed on to a number of people who might or might not know her. The last question is she in favor or against minding one's own business? I think the answer for this one is obvious. The author is definitely in favor of minding one's own business because she believes that everyone has the right to privacy without being considered 
without being considered antisocial or peculiar. After that, we have in the after reading part, a question that asks us to think or to find the main idea of this essay. Number four, read the text again and identify the main idea. Choose the best summary of the main idea from the list. We have here three answers. Number one, the writer gives her reasons why gossip is rude and unhelpful. B, the writer gives her reasons why gossip is not boring and helpful. C, the writer gives her reasons why gossip is harmful and upsetting. Okay, now you can pause the video right now. Go back to the essay, read the essay, and try to focus on the main idea. Which one of these three statements represent the main idea? The answer is obviously C. The writer gives her reasons why gossip is harmful and upsetting. After that, we will go to page 63. On page 63, after we've learned how to find the main idea, we will try to put what we have learned into practice. Number one, read the article on page 60 and 61 again and identify the main reasons given by the writer on why gossip is unhealthy and or harmful practice. So we are asked now to identify the main reasons. So we will go back, try to find the reasons. She said that she hates gossiping and so on. Why does she hate gossiping? There are many reasons. You should now go back to the essay and try to find or try to identify the, the reasons behind uh, her viewpoint. After that, make notes on each main idea in the chart below. Then rewrite each main point using your own words. Using your own, your own words. Don't introduce anything new, paraphrase only the ideas given in the article. Okay, we will have to explain this point. Uh, we are asked now to rewrite each main point. We will put the main idea on the right side, or sorry, on the left side, on the main idea side here. Then after that, we will re rewrite them on paraphrase part. Why we have to rewrite? Because we are not allowed when we want to summarize something or give uh, an overview of an essay or a book to use the exact words of the author because this is called plagiarism. So we have to rewrite these words or use our own words and use, so we, we will divide it into two parts. We will use the ideas of the author and we will use our own words or we will put the ideas of the author in our own words. After that, don't introduce anything new. So use only the ideas of the author, paraphrase only the ideas given in the article. Don't paraphrase anything new or don't paraphrase the examples and so on. So paraphrase only the ideas. Number three, write a summary of the article. Use linking words, include an introduction. We can do that by following this step. For example, we have here uh, steps that you can follow for writing the main idea of an essay. You start with an introduction that summarizes the whole idea of the essay. Then after that, you start mentioning the reasons behind the author's uh, essay or the author's viewpoint. And you are, or you should have, or you should use the, uh, the linking words. For example, if you want to list, or if you want to talk about the reasons, you shouldn't list them, and you shouldn't write them uh, uh, after each other, okay? 
you should use linking words. For example, we have here the word first of all, we have moreover, in addition, furthermore. All these are ways or expressions that you can use to uh, write the results or write, sorry, the reasons of the author. Here we have why gossip is boring. The article claims that gossip is not only boring but harmful and upsetting too. The reasons for this viewpoint are many and varied. So now we have an introduction. First of all, and now we start mentioning the reasons behind this viewpoint. And we have here words like moreover, in addition, these words are called transition words or linking words that help you to go from one idea to another. After that, we have in the writing corner some tips that could help you writing your own essay. When you write a summary of an essay, number one, you should first identify the main ideas. So go back to the essay, identify the main ideas. How to identify the main ideas? By underlining them in the article and taking notes. Number two, you must use your own words and paraphrase the main ideas. Don't use the exact words or use the author's words. Number three, don't include examples. In the summary, we are looking for a nutshell. We are looking for the main idea. We are not looking for examples and uh, supporting ideas. So we are only focusing on the main ideas. Number four, don't introduce any new ideas of your own. You have to be faithful for the essay. Don't introduce anything new. Use only the ideas in the essay. Number five, use appropriate linkers to connect your main points. The linkers are the linking words, uh, like uh, first of all, in addition, moreover, and so on. The last one, don't plagiarize. Plagiarize means don't use other people or the author's words, use your own words. And remember to cite your source. Look back at page 53 and read about plagiarism and correct citation. Let's go now to the workbook on page 30, 44. We have here an exercise, which is exercise L. You can, this exercise, you can use this exercise to put in practice what we have just learned together. In this exercise, we have a short text about the word paparazzi. The word paparazzi is the plural form of paparazzo, which is an Italian means, which in Italian means a buzzing, a buzzing insect. Today, it refers to reporters and photographers, especially freelance professionals who search for sensational stories and take candid and often unflattering photographs of celebrities and sell them to magazines and newspapers. Do you think it should be illegal for paparazzi to follow celebrities, or do you think the paparazzi have every right to follow celebrities for a story? Write persuasive essay defending your position. Before you write, organize your ideas in the chart below for each main point you make in your essay. Be sure to include at least one example. So you can write the main ideas here in this chart and after that support them with example, then start writing your own essay. This is the last part of our lesson today. Thank you all for attending and I wish you enjoy the rest of the day. Salaam alaikum.